people have a hard time understanding time, but also scale, uh, you know, and, you know, the, the uh, scale of the universe or, and so on. It's, it's very difficult. So I don't, I often use phrases that people don't relate to because I'm thinking of a completely different, different time frame. Uh, but I really do think we need to think longer term. So a lot of the politics of today are talking about uh, 2030 or 2050. But are humans planning to be around in a thousand years? At 10,000 years, uh, you know, the, 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 we need to have a look and see what we when we're thinking about those time frames rather than overreacting to things that are happening today. Um, and, and we need to understand probably a lot more about the way that the Earth functions, which it does over a longer period of time. And things happen on the Earth, where natural things happen that are a threat to humans, uh, mo a lot of which we've not seen yet but will happen if we're around long enough. So uh, we, we have a basic problem uh, communicating, uh, not just as geologists, but as scientists. I mean, for example, in, in, uh, we, we would often, if we're just talking socially, we'd say glacial, meaning something that happens very slowly. But in ge geological terms, a glacial is one of the fastest processes that we have. You know, so it just, it just can, can, it can be confusing, but, um, uh, I think we do need to start having a longer term uh, viewpoint of, of the world as well as just a short term one. And uh, that's really what uh, what we wanted to talk about today was, was, you know, what is the role of all of these components? Uh, and uh, and particularly with my background, I know a lot about fossil fuels. And I particularly wanted to make the point that, all right, you know, we, we we can't just stop using fossil fuels. They've been an enormous benefit to humanity to this point. And, and I know, Nate, that you have uh, spent a lot of time trying to educate people on how fossil fuels have gotten us to this point. Um, you know, and, and uh, it is shocking, really, how little people who've been around for 30 years know about energy and where it comes from. <laughs> 